Hello students, welcome back. I am Dr. Mani Soni, your Dermatology faculty. And today we are going to discuss the recently asked questions of Dermatology in FMG exam, which was conducted few days back, that is in December 2021. Now in this exam, there were many questions which were asked from Dermatology, around eight to 10 questions were asked from Dermatology and majority of them were very easy and they were repeat questions and i have already covered majority of these questions in my notes and in my videos so i hope all of you must have done them correctly and all of you will pass in this screening exam now coming back to the questions which were asked in this year's exams these were the questions i have mentioned my email address here so if you have any doubt or if you find that there was some other question or some other image you can directly mail me on this email address of mine which is manishsoni2003 at the rate gmail.com okay so coming to the first question in the first question they asked that 25 year old female came with chief complaint of vaginal discharge with lower abdominal pain and tenderness which color kit will you prescribe to her okay now majority of the student made this mistake they read vaginal discharge and they marked kit number two okay so they thought that it is kit number two which is green in color okay so some students said that green color uh, kit was mentioned in the option and some students said that there was no option like green kit. So if there was no option like green kit, so the question becomes very easy because you are not confused with kit 2. But remember that if the patient is having both the things that is vaginal discharge as well as lower abdominal pain, we consider this patient as PID patient that is pelvic inflammatory disease patient and then you not give kit number 2 instead you choose kit number 6 which is yellow in color and which is used for these patients suffering from lower abdominal pain okay in my videos and lectures i have already included this so let us revise that these are the various kits which are used for various stis that is sexually transmitted infection syndromes and these kits they have color coding and numbers like kit number one which is gray in color can be used for urethral discharge cervical discharge and painful scrotal swelling so in all these we give kit one which is gray in color while kit two is used for uh, vaginal discharge this is green in color now vaginal discharge was there in the option but remember that this is generally not associated with lower abdominal pain it might be possible that patient can have low back ache okay then we give kit two now kit three is for genital ulcer that is non-herpetic generally syphilitic so kit three is given which is white and it contain penicillin now some patient are penicillin sensitive so in those patients we give kit four that is blue in color which is for penicillin sensitive patient it do not have penicillin and then herpetic genital ulcer that is kit 5 red in color then lower abdominal pain this was the question which was asked that is lower abdominal pain and here you can see that these patient can have vaginal discharge as well so here we give yellow kit which is kit 6 and then inguinal bubo that is kit 7 which is black in color now let us come to the next question in second question they said that patient comes to OPD with complaint of diarrhea, dermatitis and mental retardation. It was also found that he was a maize eater. Which of the following could be the most probable diagnosis? Okay, now this is a very clear cut case of pellagra. Here the answer is pellagra. Why? Because we know that there are four Ds which are seen in pellagra. And what are those four Ds? Yes, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and if you don't treat the patient, then death. So these are the four Ds and because of these four Ds, you can very easily mark the answer as pellagra. Now patient is a maize eater. So there are dietary factors which are in the etiology. So if you look at the etiology, again, you can remember the etiology with four Ds. So here again, the same mnemonic works that is four Ds diet because the patient who are on maize diet or jaw diet because of excessive leucin in jaw, the absorption is decreased. So these dietary factors are responsible for pellagra. Then second is daru, that is excessive alcohol intake can lead to pellagra. Then drugs like isoniazid and fluorouracil, these drugs can lead to pellagra. And there are diverse factors. So another D, diverse factors like heart nub disease and carcinoid syndrome so you can see that instead of four d's you can remember eight d's 
and what are these 8 Ds? 4 Ds help you remember the clinical features that is diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis and death and 4 Ds help you remember the etiology that is diet, daru, drugs and diverse factors. And these patients develop dermatitis over exposed areas so that's why a casual necklace appearance can up, up, appear at the V of the neck. Okay. Now in the next question they ask that all are seen in this condition except now first of all you need to identify this condition so what is shown here the flexural area is shown and the wrist is being shown here and over wrist these small dark lesions are present okay so these small dark lesions are present if you closely examine them you will find that these are plain topped purple polygonal pruritic papules okay so these are the five p's and five p's are seen in lichen planus and lichen planus generally occur over flexural areas like wrist so flexors of the wrist and sometimes cobner's phenomena is also seen that is the lesions are present in linear fashion so all these are features which are pointing towards lichen planus and if you see the histological findings which are mentioned here in the options wickham stry sort of appearance and civity bodies all are seen in lichen planus but remember that munro's microapsis and kogos pursues they are not seen in lichen planus they are seen in psoriasis so that's why the answer here is munro's microapsis or kogos pursues now let us move on to the next question here they ask that patient is on treatment with 13 cis retinoic acid 13 cis retinoic acid now do you know what is 13 cis retinoic acid it is another name of isotretinoin so isotretinoin is considered as a drug of choice for grade 4 or nodulocystic acne and there are various side effects of this drug and that is what they are asking that which of the following is one of the side effect of this drug and we know that this is a teratogenic drug all the retinoids are teratogenic so is isotretinoin so 13 cis retinoic acid or isotretinoin is teratogenic in nature so answer becomes teratogenic side effect the next question here a clinical history is mentioned that a patient presented with hypopigmented macules macules that is very small lesions over back upper trunk and on koh mount and on koh mount so generally we do koh mount in which condition fungal conditions yes so which fungal conditions shows spaghetti and meatball appearance yes very very easy spaghetti and meatball appearance is seen in tinea also known as pityriasis versicolor so in this condition okay what is seen is spaghetti and meatball appearance is seen and this is the clinical feature of this condition so this is a case of pityriasis versicolor and we know the causative agent for this condition is yes malaysia furfur so malaysia furfur is the causative agent here so again a very simple and a repeat question then question number sixth patient presented with lesion as shown in the image and in the image you can see that these erythematous scaly large plaques are present over extensors that is the back of the patient so these lesions are suggestive of psoriasis so in psoriasis we know that erythematous plaque with silvery white scaling is seen and the site is generally extensors so probably these are psoriatic lesions and later patient also developed arthritis so we know that patient of psoriasis can develop joint involvement in the form of psoriatic arthritis so what is the treatment so there are so many modalities which are used in the treatment but remember that when the patient develops arthritis we prefer oral treatment in the form of methotrexate so methotrexate becomes the drug of choice for psoriatic arthritis and it will also work in psoriatic lesions so that's why the answer here is methotrexate then one image was given and they asked you to identify the plant so this is a very important plant because this is a plant which causes airborne contact dermatitis and all of you know that this is which plant this is parthenium plant also commonly known as gajar ghas or congress grass okay so this is the parthenium plant and this is the one which causes airborne contact dermatitis and the diagnosis of airborne contact dermatitis is made with the help of patch test so already these questions have been asked so this is a very simple plant all of you might have seen around the gardens and the farms this is a parthenium plant also known as congress grass 
then they asked you to identify this condition and in this image you can see that erythematous lesions are present on both the cheeks of this child okay so it appears like a slapped cheek appearance as if the cheeks have been slapped and that's why they are appearing red in color and this presentation is generally seen in a viral condition okay so this is a viral condition and this viral condition is known as erythema infectiosum which is caused by parvovirus b19 and this is the fifth disease. Now I'm going to give you a mnemonic here. And the mnemonic is that many students read day long for entrance exam. So many measles, this is first disease. Students, scarlet fever, this is second disease. Read, rubella, this is third disease. Day long, D, Duke's disease, fourth disease. E, entrance, that is erythema infectiosum, fifth disease. And exam, so, exanthem subitum this is sixth disease so sometimes these diseases are asked so you can very easily remember that many students read day long for entrance exam so this is a simple mnemonic to remember all these diseases first second third fourth fifth and sixth disease so here you can very easily answer this question this is fifth disease which is a viral condition caused by parvovirus v19 okay so I found these questions. Uh, if you uh, recall any other question, you can directly mail me. I have already given you my email address. So I hope this session was useful for all of you. Do leave your feedback in the comment box below. Thank you very much.